Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video we're going to explore how to automate your sales process. I'm a software consultant, so in the last few years I have helped several companies to plan and automate their sales process and today I'm going to share some ideas of how to design it and automate it. So with these tips you can either create a sales process from scratch or just apply some of them to your current process. Alright, let's get started. In my case, I like to separate the lead generation process from the sales process, but some companies like to keep them together. So if you want to learn how to automate the lead generation process, I made another video that I will link in the description. I always recommend to map out the process on paper and write down all the actions that need to be taken at each step of the process. Then you can review the list of actions and automate the ones that can be automated. The sales process starts when a lead has been qualified and showed interest in buying your products or services. For example, if the lead agrees to have a meeting with you, that is an indicator that she's a potential client, so it will start the sales process. The first thing to do is create a contact and a deal in your CRM. Many CRMs can automate some parts of the record creation. For example, if you have a leads module, you could convert the lead into a contact automatically and then add a deal. Another way to automate the contact and deal creation is by sending the lead a form that will input the information directly in the CRM. This way you don't have to do manual work. Once you have created a deal, maybe you also need to create a shared folder in your cloud storage solution. This can also be automated with a connector like Zapier. The trigger would be the creation of the deal and the action is to create a folder. If your sales process requires a phone call, video call or in-person meeting, you can also automate the scheduling of the meeting. You can use an online scheduling tool like Canly or Zoho Bookings that will create a link that can be sent to your clients so they schedule the meeting with you based on their availability. This way there are no back and forth emails to find a time to meet. The tool will send email reminders to both of you before the meeting and will create the video call link for the meeting as well. If you would like to learn more about Zoho Bookings, I made a video that I'm going to link in the description. It is possible that at different stages of your sales process, you would like to notify the potential client via email or text message. These emails are called transactional emails and there is a big chance your CRM can send them automatically. But if this is not possible, you can try to use Zapier or Zoho Flow to do it. Either way, the workflow is going to be very similar. You have to select a trigger that will indicate the CRM to send the email. For example, when you move a deal to the stage meeting, you could automatically send an email with the link to schedule a video call. Automations like this one are very helpful if your sales process is very standardized and you always send similar notifications. But you can also send different emails depending on other variables. For example, when you close a deal, you can send a personalized email depending on the deal type or the deal amount. If the deal amount is higher than $10,000, send email A and if it's lower, send email B. And of course, everything I said can be applied to text messages as well. If your CRM allows it, you can send messages from it. Otherwise, you can use a connector. During your sales process, you will need to create some tasks and assign them to the sales rep to make sure they don't forget to follow up with your clients, collect information about the deal and other reasons. The task creation can be automated just as with emails. Pretty much all CRMs can create tasks for you, so I doubt you will have to use a third party app. For example, once the deal is moved to the meeting stage, an email is sent automatically and a task is created and assigned to the deal owner or sales rep. The task name is follow up and the due date is in two days, meaning that in two days, the sales rep will get notified. You can create as many tasks as you need to make sure that the sales process is followed. Some CRMs have a feature called sequences that you can use to create sequences of emails and tasks that are going to be sent to a potential client. For example, you can create a sequence that sends a welcome email to a client, then two days later sends another email to schedule a meeting, and one day later creates a task for your sales rep to follow up. If at any point the client responds to the emails we sent, the sequence is interrupted so the sales rep can take over. Also, the sales rep can stop the sequence at any point. Sending a contract or agreement is another big part of many sales processes and you can automate it as well. If you send the same agreement to all your clients, the automation should be straightforward. When the deal is moved to the contract stage, 
then generate a contract and send it to the deal main contact. This can be done with a connector like Zapier. You also need an account in a document management app like DocuSign or Pandadoc. But if you use Zoho CRM and Zoho Sign, you can automate it with a function or with Zoho Flow. If you don't send the same documents to all your clients, you can still automate the document generation using information from the CRM. First, you complete all the fields in the CRM and then generate the document and send it manually. Once you close the deal, you can create a client in your financial software automatically, as well as a project in your project management tool. The trigger is very similar to the ones I mentioned before. When the deal is moved to the close one stage, then create a client in QuickBooks. This can be done with a connector. Same for the project creation. The trigger is the same, but the outcome is to create a new project using a template. If you use Zoho One, you can integrate the CRM, projects, and books so that three apps talk to each other and everything is synced. Finally, I wanted to mention some more advanced features like Command Center in Zoho CRM. Not all the CRMs have this option, but if yours does, you can use it to automate your entire process. It only works if you have a really standardized process and you know exactly what happens next. This feature will create records or make changes to records based on the information you add to the CRM. For example, when you change the lead status to qualified, a contact in a deal will be created automatically. Then when you change the client type to ready to buy, the deal is going to be updated. When you create and send a quote from the CRM, the deal stage is going to change automatically to quote sent. So you can create really complex workflows that combine different modules of your CRM. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you got some good tips from this video. I'm a software consultant, so if you need any help with your sales process, check out my website for more information. I will link it in the description right below the like button. Thanks for watching.